super old school recording tonight because I can't find my equipment again. Yay. I'll get on to that in a minute because I'm really frustrated and I want to have a moan and it's not interesting but I'm going to moan anyway. Um, just checking what you can see. Cool, so I thought we could do a bit of colouring while I just chat to you guys and bring you up to date on what's been on. So I've got my colours here. I've picked out the colours. Um, you can't see. Let me move it this way. So I'll be colouring this guy on this page. So I've picked out the colours. I will move them out of the way actually because I'm going to read what it says. So let's start with some green. So I've got green, orange, I 
decent food, so she <laughs> she eats a massive breakfast, which is awesome because she needs to eat well. Um, and then she has like a kind of a small lunch, but a hot hot lunch. Usually, you know, something warmed up that somebody's made and put in the freezer. But then for, for her evening meal, she just wants like she has the tiniest sandwich in the world, and then she just wants like cakes and stuff. <laughs> So I just take her in like a bit of a, a party plate with the world's tiniest sandwich, admittedly. And then there'll be like um, biscuits and cake or cheese and just little snacky things that she can pick on, through, you know, yeah, pick up throughout the evening. Um, and then like before I leave, I'll make sure that the kitchen is completely tidy, make sure that she's got everything that she needs. since October or whatever, 
this just always seems to be something and I was trying to explain it to someone earlier it feels like there's this pile of stuff inside me right so there's all these issues and all these things that have been going on and I've been adding to the pile and adding to the pile I'm like yeah you've got a problem sure I can help you let me add it to the pile and I've been carrying on pushing through and then this past week this other thing has been added to the pile and now suddenly the pile has toppled and I'm not coping anymore so um, yeah I've had, I've had a bit of a moment the last few days I've not been feeling very mentally well and that's also been uh, transpiring as like feeling quite physically unwell as well like Sunday was ridiculous I just I was in so much pain physical pain and I hadn't done anything particularly excruciating I hadn't been to boxer size on the Thursday um, because I just didn't feel up to it I cleaned for my nan but it wasn't like I wasn't doing you know crazy Olympics or do you know what I mean like I shouldn't have been aching the way that I was but everything hurt like <clears throat> sorry my voice is going everything hurt it hurt to walk my legs were in agony just sitting down it was just it was horrible um and i've just learned over the years that um the only thing i can put that down to is just like poor mental health really so if my mental health is suffering it will sort of take it out on my body i think that's what happened uh, so yeah oh this is gonna be loud sorry right, i need a drink Oh my god, I've been talking for ages. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, orange. Orange, orange, orange. Uh, yeah, orange. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And then also, I've been doing some ghost hunts, which I love. Like, I'm not complaining at all. You know, I choose to. I've only done two so far. I've got another one this week. Um, and that's a choice. But it has been an awesome choice because I really think it's helping me develop uh, spiritually. You know, like with my mediumship abilities and stuff, I really feel like it's helping me develop. This frog looks freaking wacky. Definitely not what I pictured but it does not matter so I've got another one this week it's in a forest in Wales um, it's supposed to be like a haunted forest area ew how weird is this frog I've just looked at him look at him over here oh my god what a freaky little frog yeah so <laughs> Yeah, my brain really is all over the place, I do apologise. Um, yeah, so another one this week, which should be good. I just hope the weather isn't too crazy. The weather really hasn't been helping my mood, I must be honest. I really love the sunshine in the summer. Uh, you know, I love the spring, I love the autumn. I'm not such a fan of winter. Um, I don't mind it if I'm like nice and warm and cosy inside. But, yeah, I love the sun. I love being out in the sun. Going on day trips, sunbathing. Just, you know, I love sitting out the back uh, with a book and just soaking up the sun. And the weather's been shit in the UK. So that's not been possible, <laughs> which sucks. But yeah, I hope the weather isn't too crazy for Saturday because I'm going to be very muddy otherwise and nobody needs that especially not when you're getting back at stupid o'clock in the morning so the last one I went to um, was in Bristol it was really 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 good it's the first time I've ever done a Ouija board the first time I've ever done table tipping I am going to make a video at some point and do like a review I might do it Perhaps I'll do it on um, 
Sunday after I've been to this one, so I'll do like a review of the first three ghost hunts, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, um, first time I tried loads of things and it was awesome, like, I've never experienced anything like it, it was so cool. Obviously, we're not going to be doing, well, I don't think we'll be doing a Ouija board or table tipping in the forest, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty to do, and plenty to experience, but I'll let you know. I was going to record a video, like I did a video at the first one, which was in Ebervale. Um, it was, it's called the Old Cinema in Ebervale, and that was the first ever ghost hunt that I did, um, and I did record a video of that one, but I didn't do much, and I was going to record a um, video at Bristol, which was, so I went to Warmly Clock Tower, but I just didn't really get the opportunity, um, so there we go, so I don't know, I'll see what happens on Saturday, but I don't imagine that I'll be wandering off on my own too much if I'm in a bloody forest, because I don't have the greatest sense of direction when I know somewhere, oh no, let alone when I don't know somewhere. So yeah, I think I'll be staying close to everyone else. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sleeping there. Um, right, eyeballs. I can't see properly to do this one. Oh, that'll do. Where's the eyeball? Let's do this little eyeball as well. Oh my god, he looks evil. Like, seriously, look how cute he, he looks over here. So cute. Spawn of Satan. I guess uh, the black lines and stuff are not the same, but whatever. Um, so this is apparently yellow-green. This is not yellow green. This is like the colour I bloody needed for the body. Oh, never mind. Psychedelic frog. So, anyway, how have you all been? I'm trying not to say guys. Um, oh, I missed his little toesies over there. Uh, yeah, I'm really not trying to say guys anymore. So, how have you been? What's going on with you? What's new? I hope everything is okay. I hope you're in a better time than I've been having. And I will try and record more frequently. There's loads of things I want to do. Some of the stuff that I'm creating for my website would like just really well um, translate into a video. Like where I'm doing guides of different crystals and spiritual meanings of different animals and things, that stuff would be awesome as videos. Oh, that's what I was going to say as well, so I've changed the name of the channel ever so slightly. I've just taken the ASMR off because I'm not going to be just focusing on ASMR anymore. Um, well, that does look quite bright now, doesn't it? You crazy little froggy. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to just be focusing on ASMR anymore because there's a lot of knowledge and stuff that I want to be able to share um, from my experiences in working with spirit. And I think it's really relaxing for ASMR, but it's going to become quite limiting because there might be people who would be interested in the things that I have to say that they, you know, they may not necessarily enjoy it in an ASMR format, so, you know, I'm just trying to think of things like that, and, uh, yeah, maybe just make non-ASMR versions of things as well. Not to say I'm going to duplicate everything, oh, because uh, that's not going to be possible, but there's just going to be a bit of a distinction, I guess, but I will still be making ASMR content, because... Although, I do find the air 
ASMR community to be really cliquey and I wouldn't, but I wouldn't say that I'm part of the ASMR community at all to be fair but I do still love ASMR and I think there's a lot to be said for how helpful it is for sleep and mental health so yeah I will, I will continue to make videos but you will also see other videos come up on my channel too but if you're not interested in the spiritual content just come and watch me colour like a toddler and ramble about shit, that's fine. Alright, so my weird little froggy is done, so I'm just gonna read. I'd like to read what's on this page because I love animal facts, so. Um, so this guy is a red-eyed tree frog, and it says... Red-eyed tree frog frogs live near ponds and rivers in the rainforests of Central America. When the frogs are asleep on leaves, like this freaky little dude, their brilliant green colour makes them almost invisible to the enemies. Yeah, he looks like a chrysalis, don't you think? Tree frogs have sticky suckers on their toes, which help them cling to leaves and branches. Their bulging eyes and striking colours startle any enemy that disturbs them. This guy, let's go back for reference. This guy, he's gonna startle some some stuff. Um, while the enemy hesitates, the frogs can make their escape. I don't know why they feel like they needed to point out the red eye here. I think that is pretty self-explanatory and fairly obvious to all of us but yeah cool thanks whoever wrote this coloring book um the frogs are good climbers as well as jumpers i imagine this was written for a child i shouldn't really complain when i'm coloring like a child do anyway that felt like a messy video and it feels like i offloaded a load of shit onto you guys not my intention. I am sorry. I just wanted to tell you what was going on and just do a bit of a life update and a ramble while I coloured like a three-year-old. So I hope that you found this video somewhat relaxing. Um, I'm sorry that it's super lo-fi. I will get my shit together. I'm really sweary tonight also, but never mind. sorted and I will get the Yeti back up and running again um, but until then I will make a couple of videos like this and hopefully you can relax to them and enjoy them so anyway thank you for watching today please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see